ready start they have strived to support you as you have worked hard to complete your academic program it is also a momentous anniversary for the university the story of which has mirrored the evolution of modern higher education in our country my congratulations to all of you especially to the graduating students and to all others associated with this illustrious university from the middle of the 19th century the university of madras has been a cornerstone of our nation building project it is among the illustrious responsible for the strong foundations of education intellectual advance and knowledge production in india particularly in the south of our country i am told that in the region it is popularly referred to as the mother of universities it is truly a monumental institution and i am not referring to just the imposing heritage buildings on this campus there is a remarkable list of nation builders who have been alumni of this university or of its constituent colleges no other university in india can make the claim that six former presidents six of my distinguished predecessors are old students dr s radhakrishnan dr v v gri mr neelam sanjeeva reddy mr r venkat raman dr k r narayanan and dr a p j abdul kalam all studied here before eventually graduating to the highest office in rashtrapati bhavan the first indian to become governor general of our country the venerable sri rajgopalachari or raja ji as we remember him to was an alumnus two nobel laureates sir c v raman and dr subramanya chandrashekar as well as two former chief justices of india justice k subarao and justice m patanjali sastri studied here pioneering women leaders such as mrs sarojini naidu and mrs durga bai deshmukh were educated at the university of madras the roll call of great indians who have spent their formative years in this university is so long that if i mention all of them i will be speaking for a few hours however i would especially like to mention one stalwart the late c subramanyam he was an inspiration as a politician and as a public servant as agriculture minister he was crucial to the green revolution and to making us self sufficient in food that legacy of scholarship of learning and of achievement lives on even today some of india's best known names internationally from chess grandmaster viswanathan anand to the corporate leader indra nui are graduates of the university of madras the students who are graduating today are taking forward rh heritage the expression change with continuity is often used and sometimes overused but in few institutions is it as meaningful as at the university of madras one of the hallmarks of this university has been its ability to incorporate change even while keeping 
basic values intact this attribute has helped it stay contemporary and relevant to emerging needs of the students and of society the range of courses and subjects offered here symbolizes this and expands the traditional liberal arts to 21st century disciplines tamil nadu and punjab were at the forefront of our freedom struggle and after independence both states and their hard working people have contributed substantially to india's social and economic development the sikh community in tamil nadu is involved in a range of professions from business and industry to agriculture it is worth remembering that over 100 years ago the family of the late ag ram singh migrated from amritsar to chennai ram singh became one of the pioneering cricketers of our country and mentored many local players here in this city later two of his sons ag milkha singh and ag kripal singh played for india at one time it used to be said that the leading cricket family of tamil nadu was a sikh family that sense of oneness that unity in diversity makes our country special guru nanak college represents the same spirit the objective of the college and its fraternal philosophy is apparent from its motto pro bono publico which means for the benefit of all i am told that 57 programs are offered here and that the college has an a grade rating as per the national assessment and accreditation council what is truly heartwarming is that the gurudwara within the campus has a langar kitchen that provides a free meal to about 700 students daily tamil nadu is the state that gave india the idea of the midday meal program in schools but a midday meal at the college level is unique and here once i congratulate the college authorities the value of education lies not just in getting a degree or training for a job the real value is in giving back to society and in helping those less privileged and less fortunate than us it is with this sentiment that guru nanak college has extended a special facility in partnership with an ngo that runs a school for special children that is children with special needs i am told that certificate courses are offered to such students to help them find employment and to promote main streaming i wish such efforts all success your college also strives to inculcate service to society and make students socially responsible following the december 2015 floods in chennai i have learnt that a team from guru nanak college was one of the first to reach people in distress and provide food water medicines and other essentials